How's it going, everybody? It's your man, Leonidas, a.k.a. Mr. Homebrew. Now, I'm sure if you've followed the process, remember this is under your own discretion, whatever you do to your hardware, your devices, if it's outside the manufacturer's recommended um, warranty or anything like that, you know, it's on you. But anyways... Here it is on the right, we got the stock Nintendo Switch. And on the left, we got Homebrew running. As you can see, I feel the left with the layout we got running and everything. Seems to be looking a lot better, more useful. Yes, even when you analyze, it seems like we're utilizing about the same amount of screen real estate. Um, but I think we're utilizing it a little better on the left hand side with the design we got going on there. Now, when it comes to both these devices, um, homebrew obviously is the way to go in my opinion. Um, I enjoy it. There's a lot of fun to be had when it comes to your Nintendo Switch. Now, when it comes to using the packages I provided and getting homebrew running, once you're up and running, you can either run homebrew, I know I've said this already, but you can do it through Pokemon Quest, and you can launch your app, whatever app you want from there. Now, um, if you do launch Homebrew from the album, which I do have enabled, you're not going to be utilizing full RAM. Um, there's a good possibility, a uh, high possibility, if not guaranteed, that uh, RetroArch is going to crash when you go to load an N64 ROM or something of that nature. So it is recommended to use Pokemon Quest as your homebrew method. Now, if you do want to launch into Pokemon Quest or your photo album, all you gotta do is hold that ZR button. So I'm holding ZR, click A, and I'm gonna launch into my photo album. You do the same thing with Pokemon Quest, hold ZR, hit Pokemon Quest, and you would launch into Pokemon Quest as opposed to launching into Homebrew. Now, as you'd like to launch into Homebrew, you go in, get it going. Probably going to want to get RetroArch going. Why not, right? The one and only. We'll launch up some RetroArch real quickly. Bang. There you go. RetroArch is up and running. Now, something I did notice is if you have a trouble, if you're having trouble loading up um, a game, one of your N64 games, um, then what you might want to do is load up a Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, whatever, one of those games. Wait for them to start up. And while it's running, then go to load content and pick the game you're trying to run. And when you load it, it will run that time. You don't have to follow that process every time. It's kind of like a one-time thing as a, a temporary solution I use for certain ROMs that just don't launch when I go to launch them from my content. Now, if you launch them from your playlist, you'll probably have better results. Um, once you do follow this process, you go to load something up. I'm gonna load up Paper Mario. I'm going to be patient, give it a moment, always be patient, sometimes it might take a moment, there you go, didn't take too long, running pretty good, nah, the menu might seem a little slow, but that's not a big deal. We're okay with that. Because once you get in game, performance does seem to be a lot better, as you will see here. Legendary game. If you haven't played this game, Paper Mario for the N64, do add it to your collection. Take the time to play this game. It's a lot of fun. Great concept. Luigi checking the mail. We'll at least get a glimpse of Mario real quickly. Hey Mario, we got a letter from Princess Pete. Ah, 
I'll read it to you, okay? All right, let's see. Well, we're not here to read a letter. <laughs> so we're going to skip ahead on this. And there we go. Give it a brief moment. And then we'll have a little bit of control. Now there is more I want to cover in regards to everything. I'm going to go over the themes and how you can switch between your themes and everything like that. Paper Mario seems to be running pretty good. No complaints. Look at that quality. Beautiful. Now the next thing I'm going to cover and speak about is how you can go between all your themes and everything like that. Here we go. Game's running. Good stuff. I like it. So. You want to go between themes. Maybe you don't want this theme we got going right now. Right? Maybe you want something else. So you're going to go back into your homebrew. And you're going to go to. NX. Themes installer. You're going to click in there. Now you should be running atmosphere. So when I ask you what you're going to pick, you're going to pick atmosphere. Now, over here on the right hand side, you have the themes. These sections here apply to different aspects of your um, UI, <clears throat> the software itself. So you need to apply all of these. So if you want the black theme, You'd apply one, two, three, four, five, six. All six of those Mr. Homebrew black theme aspects to get what you want. Now, for right now, I'm going to go down and I'm going to enable retro purple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push Y to select multiple files. One, two, three, four, five, six. I selected all the files for retro purple. Now, I'm going to hit start, and I'm going to install all the selected files. Going to be patient. Don't rush. There you go. You're going to go over. You're going to go to quit. Now, you have to restart your Nintendo Switch at this point in time. If you try to do certain things, you're probably going to crash it. If you want the theme to apply, you need to restart your Nintendo Switch. So, you're going to look here. You're going to have Reboot to Payload. Select that. Push that minus button. Bang. Select Hecate. And give it a moment. That's the boot screen. Be patient. And once we get up and running, we should have something a little different. When it comes to the home screen, now obviously I do have multiple themes there for you guys. Bang. That looks nice. There you go. Very beautiful. So remember, this is a two-part video. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. It does help support this channel. Give me motivation to keep on doing what i am doing for everybody and it lets me know that i am helping you guys so please do tell me your success stories leave a comment if everything's working out for you guys if it's not you know you got some questions and things don't be shy to ask a question there really isn't too many dumb or stupid questions you can ask but you know do a little bit bit of research um be smart common knowledge everything like that um I've covered most of the things I wanted to cover right now at this point in time. I may have a more informative video um, later on down the road about a couple of other things. As you can see, I've covered um, the RAM aspect, the differences between Pokemon Quest and launching from the photo album. Hold ZR to launch either your photos or Pokemon Quest without going into homebrew and everything like that. And how to switch your themes. All the best. Take care. And I'm out.